I'm currently in a trade, and for this trading challenge, I'm a deeply in the hole. So here's what I did. I uh, expanded it out. I looked at the five minute. It's going sideways. I looked at the 15 minute. It climbed up. It's going sideways. I looked at the 30 minutes. It dipped here, went up sideways. And if I look at the one hour, essentially it was up here. Now it had reached the uh, high here, reached here and pulled back. Right? So that's how I saw it. I made a, a trade uh, earlier and it was here. Uh, if I look here. See, I was shorting here, but that was premature. Okay, that was premature. And it went up, and I closed, and then it dropped down again, and then went back up. And I'm saying, oh, darn. <clears throat> I thought. Then I realized that um, everything, this is with new found information, which means that based on this new found information, everything is bound by support and resistance, essentially. And therefore, when I looked at this, I saw how it was behaving. It was going sideways, essentially in a trading range. And so uh, at this moment, I thought it's, it's, it was moving up. And so what I had to do was wait until it was up here. When it was up here, I had a good chance that this was going to go down because it's, this is on the upper side of the trading range. And usually when what happens is that it toggles between two trading ranges. So right here, it could be that this is the point where it's going to bounce back. Maybe I have it, I have the sell point too low, maybe, right? So this is the trade that I made. So I waited until it got up here, knowing that there is going to be a selling pressure up here. And so I sold here, okay? I'm exp and I put, a, I put a take profit at this point, but it's meandering here. It's, it's taking a little too long. So what I have to do is just close it out. Let's close it out. So there you go. I took profit. So most likely if it meanders a little bit here, I could buy a call and then I could go long and then expect it to sell up here. Okay, because most statistically speaking, I haven't done this by myself, but what happens is statistically when something is in a trading range, it tends to stay in a trading range until 10% uh, of the, the time. So 90% of the time, it'll be bound within the trading, uh, trading range. That means that if I make 10 trades, one trade will be wrong, nine trades will be right. That's a 90% win rate. And then when I have a stop loss, Essentially, that minimizes the losses on that one loss, and then uh, whatever the range is, I get to uh, exploit that range, the trading range. So the wider it is, the bigger the gains will be, and uh, the stop loss will ensure that I maintain that large uh, win to loss ratio. In, in, in the magnitude of the gains.